everybody, Molly O'Dell here, and I'm so excited to talk about one of my personal favorite things today, wine. I got invited out by Amber Anderson, local La Jolla broker of Pacific Sotheby's, to one of her favorite spots here, LJ Crafted Wine. We're gonna speak with Lol Juicy, who's the owner here, about how this place is really putting craft wines on the scene. All right, you guys, we are in beautiful La Jolla today. Amber Anderson, thank you so much for having me out here today. Thank you for having us. And you invited us to one of your favorite spots. Tell us where we are. We are in LJ Craft Wines. Thankfully, Lowell invited us here. But you know, I sell not just real estate, I sell the lifestyle. And this is one of those places that is truly complimentary to what La Jolla has to offer. And I think one of its little best kept secrets. So here we are today to kind of try it out. And Well, I think it's the perfect place to be. So Lowell, you are the owner, founder yes, yes. of this place. Tell us a little bit about your inspiration to open up LJ Craft Wines. So we buy grapes um, up here in Napa and Sonoma from really top end vineyards. We make the wine up there. Then we bring the wine down here in barrels when the wine is ready. And we've worked out some equipment which we've submitted for a patent in the US and the EU, which allows us to serve the wine directly out the barrel. And uh, so far we've been through about 50 barrels and the wine's integrity has been sort of perfect from top to bottom. So you're serving the wine directly out of the barrel, so not even out of the bottle, we're not pouring it out of it? Yes, correct. And most of the wine we're selling to go is in refillable bottles, which is very environmentally friendly. It also means that the wine does not go through the normal bottling process of filtration and, and extra preservative. Okay, I think that's, I mean, that's amazing to me. I'm trying to like wrap my head around the idea. We always hear about this like in the craft brewing with the growlers, but you have brought wine growlers to the world. Yes, it's, it's exciting to break new ground. That's what gives us the inspiration. I think it's amazing. Amber, what has been one of your favorite things about coming here? Well, I think just speaking to, to the integrity of the wine. I mean, this is very high-end wine and it's delicious. I can tell you that I took a growler of the Chardonnay home last time I was here. And for La Jolla, having a true urban winery with a tasting room, I think is very unique because the locals have a place to come to and hang out. And if you if you come here in the evenings, you'll see just that. You've got you know the wine club members that'll come in and try the new wine for the month, and then they're taking home a refillable growler that is environmentally safe. I know I teach my kids to recycle, and this is one of the best ways that we can do our part to help the environment. So what is it that we have right in front of us? I think this looks amazing. I'm like drooling over it, but what is this? This is our cheese and charcuterie board and it's probably our most popular um, item you know, from the kitchen because we have a little restaurant license too. So um, it keeps changing as do the wines. And every month we have new wines, the charcuterie board keeps changing as well. Okay, so I know that I have this delicious glass of red in front of me, but tell me about the varieties of wine that you have. So, so we start off with our Pinot Noir Rosé. We buy that very close to the coast where in Sonoma, where Pinot Noir really does very well. Then for our white wines, we buy uh, our Chardonnay in Russian River, which is the top end area for Chardonnay. For the red wines, we buy our Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa, which is really world famous. and. For each of our varieties, the Zinfandel we get from Alexander Valley, um, which is very, does very well there, and etc. So we aiming at buying our grapes from top end locations. That sounds amazing. Amber, what's your favorite wine so far? Well, he said Napa, Russian River, and Sonoma. And for any wine snob, you know, snob, you know that those are the best locations for amazing <laughs> wine. I think my favorite, even though I took a growler of Chardonnay home, was their award-winning Pinot. And they do have an amazing special for Mother's Day. So if you're still looking for that Mother's Day gift, you can uh, get one of their limited bottles because it is good. That's amazing. Let's talk about your new listing. I saw it and it's absolutely gorgeous. I want to hear more about it. It's one of my favorites, and I think what makes it unique are the views. It has beautiful views to the south along the coast. You can see all the way to Pacific Beach Pier. It sits up on the hill off of uh, Skylark Place, so the address is 5701 Skylark Place. And I think really what is so attractive about this property is it's single level. It has a pool, which is completely on solar. It's private, it sits on a quarter acre on a corner lot, right on a, the end of a cul-de-sac. And the owner of this property, when they purchased it, 
It was a bit of a project, but she could truly see the vision and she has a true talent when it comes to interior design. So she made it this amazing masterpiece. Cathedral ceilings, everything has been thought of and redone. And it's just, it's an amazing property, let alone the gourmet kitchen. I mean, it, it has it all. So. That kitchen is to die for, it is stunning. So when people are moving to La Jolla, is it a family home or is it a single home? What, what are you kind of envisioning for people that are looking to buy this home? You know, we have a mix. You know, we have our second home kind of demographic of buyer looking at it, but it's a wonderful family uh, neighborhood as well. It's four bedrooms with three and a half baths. And La Jolla really is a great family neighborhood. I mean, we get the, the best of both worlds. And let's face it, when you have award-winning schools like we have here in Bird Rock and in other areas of La Jolla, it's hard to beat. Exactly. Well, and on the walkability of this neighborhood alone, I mean, you can start and, you know, LJ Crafted Wines is right here on the corner. But we have coffee shops and we have actual shops. I mean, Amazing. We have everything from your little kids can get their hair cut at Little Locks to music classes. Well, I mean, you could take a walk after you've had some amazing wine here and watch the sunset just three minutes away at the beach. And it's um, it has it's getting more and more. So it has everything from your little you know coffee shops to shopping, wonderful retail stores, and then even services. You know your chiropractors and your doctors and everything's really in one location. And I think it's really drawing the best of the best to La Jolla. It has. You it know, has. The people moving here are professionals. They're people that are really wanting to add to the community as well. Well, I think you speak to that. You moved your entire family <laughs> with you. four kids all yes. the way from South Africa. Yes. And what was one of your reasons for moving to La Jolla? We wanted something a bit similar to where we came from in South Africa in Cape Town. And I knew the area very well. My a long story, but my grandfather, before World War I, his best friend came from here and the family's kept a friendship ever since. And I knew this area from when I was at UC Davis in the late 80s. And I used to come down here quite often to see the families yeah. that we were friends with. And that's a very common story. Okay. You, you come here once to visit and then you want to come make it a permanent and then you're residence. Yes. Well, putting LJ Winery here was a no-brainer for you and we are so happy you did. Thank you, Amber, so much for having us out here today. This place is amazing. Of course, and I think we should maybe toast to all of your success and your success moving forward. You've been here just a year, but I truly want to share it with everyone as it's a, it's a must-see spot in La Jolla. So, Absolutely. Cheers. cheers to that, you guys. Salud. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amber Anderson, for inviting me out to LJ Crafted Wines, the one and only tasting room here in La Jolla. Thank you so much, Lowell, for showing me all the amazing wines that you have to offer the community.